Hi, if you're getting the codes below, this means your EGR port needs cleaning and uh, in this video I'll show you how to do this. This is a V6 3.0 engine and this is a 6th generation home network. First of all you need to disconnect the uh, battery terminals. Now remove all these covers. You can detach this hose, or basically this uh, cover with the hose. Um, there's like four bolts, but uh, it's not accessory. Usually, I just uh, unscrew four bolts here and uh, detach the trowel body from the uh, manifold, and uh, I take take out the manifold. Now the troll body should come off. If it's not, you can tap it with a hammer just a bit on the top. You should be able to disconnect it. So now just leave it as is. You need to uh, detach the manifold. Now there are nine bolts that hold the manifold. You need to undo them in a special order. Please do this in a sequence according uh, to the provided picture. So now before you proceed you need to detach this holes. Yeah. You remove it well uh, when you detach the manifold. So now I detach this sensor. And you need to remove this port here. This is 10 millimeter. Make sure not to lose this. You will need to clean this. You can detach the holes now. It's easier at this stage. So take out the uh, the old gasket. They say you should buy a new one, but I usually just clean the old one and put it back. If you get any code, this, uh, this hole is probably clogged. You can use like a screwdriver to clean it a bit. Um, or you can drill. Some people use some special uh, drill for that. Just make sure you can kind of make it all the way through. I also use some uh, carburetor cleaner. really good. Make sure it's uh, it's real clean. So there will be stuff coming out. So let it dry a bit. Since you're already here, you can actually clean the, uh, the trowel body. I'm not gonna disassemble it, I just, uh, I'm just gonna clean it from this side a bit.
I'm using some carburetor cleaner. In the AGR port here as well. Install the gasket. Before you install the manifold, uh, put this cable back in here. Reattach the holes. Okay, now. Uh, we install all the manifold bolts in the sequence shown on the picture. The torque should be 192 inch pounds. I cleaned this connector and the uh, gasket so now we install it. We connect this guy. All these two guys here. Again, 12 millimeters. Okay, now we're install the covers. Now we connect the battery. And you want to start the engine just to make sure everything works. So uh, this is it, thanks for watching and uh, good luck.